Hello guys, welcome back to Julia's channel. And recently we received so many questions about like, Hey Leah, could you please help me to check what's problem of my battery packs? And in this video, I will list top 5 common mistakes when the beginner doing their battery pack. Okay, let's see to check it. Okay, the first common mistake is some guys mixed the MNC battery and the LiPo battery. Although they all are listed on battery, but their chemistry and the discharge rates and the voltage range and application is totally different. The MNC battery, the Normal voltage is 3.7 voltage and it has a difference of low voltage type and the high voltage type. The low voltage MNC battery range is 2.75 to 4.2 volts and the high voltage MNC cells is 2.75 to 4.3 volts. And most of MNC batteries they can use for some uh, electric car and golf cars and fork lips. The discharge rate is 1C to 3C. But the leaf for battery is different. It don't have any difference of low voltage or high voltage. Their standard voltage range is only 2.65 to 3.65 voltage. Most of listen on phosphate batteries, their safety recommend discharge rate is 0.5C to 1C discharge rate. And most of them they use for energy solar system for their home solar storage. So these two chemistry can't use together. The voltage platform doesn't match when the battery charging. It will definitely cause the BMS error. When you want to buy this on battery, you should to know which application you use. You are buying this battery to use for electric car upgrade or the solar energy storage. And the most important things is don't mix MNC battery and the lipo battery. They can't use on a whole system. To make sure the consistency of each battery cells and even for a battery brand, we would better don't use the different battery brand to combine a whole solar system. The second common mistake is some people don't use the battery managed system. This is a very headache problem. Someone in order to save $100 only of the BMS cost, and finally they pay more money to replace a whole solar system. If you don't use the BMS, the overcharging can cause your expensive battery to pregnant. It means swell. And it can also cause the battery to short circuit and the coach file and or emit smoke. The BMS can manage the battery temperature and the current and the voltage and will help you to disconnect your battery pack if the if they exceed the correct range. So in order to make sure your life safety, please use the BMS. The third one also is a very common mistake. To pay attention to the fake capacity advertising on markets. They have a son friend, he buy a 280 mph cells from the other supplier and finally tested only 250 amp cells. It will definitely cause the BMS error. So we recommend you all friends, please to test. No matter the supplier, they told you which grade, no matter A or B or C grade you bought. And no matter how much capacity they told you, please to do a aging test and uh, to balance the cells before assemble your battery pack. This is a very important thing. The fourth mistake is some people use the ordinary wires instead of our battery standard bus bar. Some customers have abandoned our battery bus bar, such as he used the household wires like 40 AWG household cables 
to connect the 48 voltage 100 ampere hour battery packs. On the uh, current of 100 amp, the cables quickly melt and burn. Most household cables are made of PVC material and which is very easily to flexible. Such as our 280 mph battery cells, we come with the standard bus bar is uh, a pure nickel plate cooper. The length is uh, 90 mm and the uh, width is 20 mm and the thickness is 2 mm. It can carry the current of 200 mm. 200 amp and the discharge rate of 280 amp hour battery we will recommend you guys use the 0.5c so it is 440 amp it has adequate overcurrent and short circuit protection if you use our standard bus bar when we doing a battery pack assembly we need to pay more attention to each details don't use the other alternative bus bar or wires for the battery dangerous goods assembly. We need to use our standard couple bus bar to connect each battery cells. The number five common mistake is the screws didn't tighten well. This is also very common mistake when we solve customer problem. Uh, they have a customer when when they doing a battery pack, the BMS shows a very big diff voltage difference and we ask our customer to reassemble the whole battery pack and to reset and finally we find the screws didn't tighten well. So uh, this is very common and very small mistake. We need to pay more attention to talking more tighten well each screws and now we are ready to upgrade our uh, screws to M8. We will more recommend our customer when you do a DRI battery packs, you would better to use a Tokyo test with a force 5 to 6. And or you can use the thread top glue to prevent the screws uh, from loosening. Okay, this video is finished. If you think my video is helpful for you, please feel free to follow my channel. And if you guys have any extra experience to share with, welcome to leave the experience comments on my channel. Okay, see you guys. See you the next time. Bye-bye.